All right. Welcome to mathematics class, students. Uh, we are from Radio Dry Star Academy, and here we are starting with mathematics this time. And it's mainly for, for secondary school, but this goes to JSS2. Uh, today, we'll be looking at mathematics, as I've earlier said, and the topic before us is simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equation. First of all, I would like to address what is the meaning of simultaneous equation. The word simultaneous generally means when something, two or more things are happening at the same time. That's what we call simultaneous equation. Usually when you are solving an equation, there used to be just a single variable. One other than the other, other would be the be constant. But well, at this time now, we are having two different variables in two different equation so and that's what simultaneous equation is all about and then there are several methods we can adopt uh, to solving uh, quadratic i mean simultaneous equation but in this class we are going to look at only three substitution method elimination method graphical method there are other methods like matrix using matrix to solve them uh, it's very very possible and now uh, as I've earlier said, solving two uh, equations with two different variables can be termed as uh, simultaneous equation. Now, let's look at these examples before us. Now, solve 2x minus y equals to 4. This is first equation. x plus y equals to 5. This is second equation. Usually, it's supposed to be just a single equation, but we are dealing with two different equations now so and that's what we call the simultaneous equation now how do we go about this now these equations are always labeled i and i i one and two whichever you want to use now let us look at number one which is two different equations now we want to uh, solve this equation the meaning of solve is that is look for the value of x and look for the value of y at the same time so looking at these two equations now we can start either with equation one or equation two but I will go for equation two because the coefficient of x here is one very simple Coefficient of y here is 1. Very simple. If I should go for this, this is carrying negative, so I need to do some other things. So this one will be very, very easy. So let's go with this. Now this equation 2, you now say from equation 2. Here, you make either y or x the subject of the formula, which is, that is x plus y giving you 5 x will be equals to 5 minus y so we have our equation 3 remember we have equation 3 now now having done this the value of x here which is 5 minus y you are going to put it in equation 1 that is put 3 equation 3 in equation 1 do do not put it in equation 2 because 3 is coming from 2. So you don't, you don't put 3 in 2 again. Put 3 in 1. Now this is going to give us, we have 2x. What's our x here? 5 minus y. So instead of writing this x now, I'm going to write this 2x, that is bracket 5 minus y minus y equals to 4. And that's what I'm going to treat on. Now here we have, opening the bracket, we have 2 times 5, it gives 10 minus 2 times minus y gives minus 2y minus y equals to 4. Here is going to be 10 minus. Now, minus 2y minus y, that is the coefficient here is minus 2, minus 1. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So it gives minus 3y equals to 4. Now, Collecting the like time. Collecting the like times. 
So this is going to be minus 3y equals to 4 minus 10. So here I'm going to have 3 minus 3y three equals to minus 6. So this minus is going to cancel out this one. 3y equals to 6. Now y will be equals to, that is dividing both sides by the coefficient of y. So y is going to be 6 divided by 3 which implies that y is equal to 2. Now, remember, we have, found, we have now discovered the value of y here. So, you have, from this one, we are going to replace this y in equation 3, which is, now put y equals to 2 in equation 3. And remember, equation 3 is, x is equal to 5 minus y. Therefore, our x is equal to 5 minus, what's the value of y here? 2. So, our x is equal to 5 minus 2, which is what? 3. Now, let's quickly check to confirm whether our answer is correct or not. It means, in this equation here, the value of x is is 3 and y is 2. So if we should put x and, and y here, if it doesn't give us 4, it means we are very wrong. So we, this is going to be 2x minus y equals to, now let's put, you know it's equals to 4, okay? Now let's put in the value here, 2 times x is what? 3 minus, what's our y? y? Y is 2 minus 2. Now we have 6 minus 2. You can see it's equal to 4. It means we are correct. So this is our answer. Example, actually there is a slight difference uh, between what is example 1 and 2 here. Here this is carrying a negative sign. Here it's not like that. So the only thing we need to do is that uh, because this one, this uh, 2 is 2x two carrying negative. You can write it this way. You give this negative to this 3y and then negative to 19 then this one turns positive that is going to have it's going to be 2x minus 3y equals to minus 19 this can be your equation 1 while this is also 2x plus y equals to 1 then this gives equation 2 now you see how uh, uh, because I want to make it easy. So this y is having the coefficient of one. I can I can use any of these uh, four terms here, but let me go for y because the coefficient of one. I don't need to divide by anything again. So I'm going to say from that is equation two. My y is going to be equal to. So then from from two it means y will be equals to one minus two x and that gives the equation three so from here now let's substitute 